What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we will learn how to auto scale shapes inside of After Effects via the text that you type out. It's really annoying to type out text and then have to rescale the shape manually to follow it. So we are gonna solve that problem today. So let's jump over to After Effects and make this happen. So as you can see here in After Effects, I have text that says, hey, if I say, hey baby, baby seven, it rescales my shape automatically. Now this is really easily done with expressions, so I'll show you what that is. And after that, I'll also show you how to use expressions to make the shape always follow the text inside of After Effects. So if you move it around on screen, anything like that, it will stay aligned and correct. So let's do this. Now in a new composition, I have some text and I have a shape, really simple. So we're gonna drop down on the shape layer with this little arrow, drop down on contents, drop down on rectangle, and then drop down on rectangle path. Now. This works for PC or Mac, so on a PC you'll hold Alt, or on a Mac you'll hold Command, and then left click with your mouse on Size, which will open up the Expression panel, this little text box right here. Now, I'm gonna open up my expression, which is a file that you can download via the description down below, or just copy and paste the expression from my description. Now this first expression right here is what we're gonna use, and you will have to change a few things to make it work, but it's unique to your text only. So we're gonna copy and paste this into the Expression panel. Copy this and we're going to paste it here. Oh, there's an error. Because my text is called hello world, and this text is called text. So there's two ways you can do this. You can change the text in this expression to say hello world to refer to the uh, actual text, or you can just rename your text right up here. So right click, rename, I'm gonna call it text. But it won't change my text in my composition, which is really great. Boom, now the shape has been rescaled. Now you can put it behind this if you want to, and whenever you retype the text, hello world, um, hello with a W. Um, and now it rescales to your text, super easy. Now in this expression, if you wanna make the shape bigger automatically, you can go to the margin and actually change the size of the margin. So you can change it to 100, or you can change it to 60 or 50, but I like it at 50 for my stuff, it works for me. And from there, you can actually change the roundness of the shape make it like a text bubble, super simple. But remember, um, to make this expression work, this comp layer text refers to your text inside of the composition. So be sure to rename your text layer to text. Now we wanna make sure our shape always follows the text on screen no matter where we move it. So we're gonna double click our text and go to paragraph inside of After Effects. Now we can find it by going to window and paragraph. Now we can make sure that our text is center aligned. So if you type it out from the center, so if I had it over here and typed it out, it would do that. I wanna make sure my text is in the center and that my shape is right in the middle of my text, that we have aligned it to the center. Um, and then I will take this little squiggly parenting option and drag it to the text. Now, if you don't see the parenting option, don't fret. What you're gonna do is right click in this little gray bar, right click columns and parent, which will open up the parenting option. So grab the squiggly and parent it to the text. And once you do that, you can take your text and move it around on screen and it always does this. It just, the shape will follow it super easy. Now that is the easy way to parent something. Now we will use the other expressions in my text file to show you how to always center align the text to the shape and always have it parented, even without using the parenting option little complicated, but we've already achieved the goal for this tutorial. Everything else is just extra icing on the cake. If you enjoy it, follow along. So, we'll open up our expression once again, and we're gonna copy this next one. Um, same as before, the expression has text inside, so it refers to the text layer. Um, copy this, and then drop down on the shape layer, little arrow, um, then we'll drop, drop down on rectangle path once again, and we will uh, um, open up the expression for the position, um, by alt clicking or command clicking and then pasting it into here. And once we do that, it's a little offline, no big deal. We will take our last expression, copy and paste all of this. Once again, it refers to text layer. Um, anywhere that text should be, you should change it with your text again. Um, whatever your layer name is for your layer name and text, make sure it's named that. Mine is called text, it's the easiest one. Um, and drop down on contents, drop down on rectangle, drop down on transform, and then find our position and open up the expression for position. So alt click or command click, and then we will paste it into here. And now it is centered. So now without using parenting, it uh, always do it. So the parenting squiggly pretty much does that for you just by doing the squiggly um, versus an expression, but you can do it via expressions. So that's pretty cool. So that is how you make 
shapes scale to text always and forever <laughs> and as you can see it even works with double spacing and stuff like that so it's really helpful as always thank you for watching this video thank you for being a part of the channel if you like this feel free to hit that like button and if you aren't subscribed consider subscribing i really enjoy this youtube thing and i'm going to keep doing it other than that i'll catch you guys in the next video peace